Sigurd Neubauer is a non-resident fellow at the Arab Gulf States Institute, and he joins us from Washington, D.C. We very much appreciate your time. So as we're reporting here, uh, officials have found no link between the attacker and ISIL, but ISIL is still claiming uh, responsibility. Explain that as a, as a tactic on ISIL's part. Yes, I think very much this is a new trend that we're seeing. We're seeing very much that social media and extremism is very much at play here. Um, under the new uh, terrorism uh, trend that we're witnessing across the world, we have seen that um, it takes very little to claim allegiance either to ISIS or to other extremist groups. All we have to do, all we have to see is uh, some person with uh, personal grievances or perceived injustices in his own life to really carry out mass atrocities. And in the midst of the attack, whether it was in Orlando, Florida, or now in Nice, we have seen that these people um, are increasingly um, self-identifying with ISIS. And this new trend really underscores that you don't have to be a part of ISIS um, internal operations or uh, in link with the organization formerly in, in order to claim these attacks uh, with mass consequences. And in return, we see the maximum impact of propaganda um, that these um, extremists are spreading. So I'm not surprised that the French prime minister has uh, come out and uh, put no formal link between um, ISIS so, and this militant, even though ISIS claimed responsibility. So let me ask you this. If, if attacks like this can happen without a group like ISIL actually instructing anybody to do so, um, how do you stop that? How do you combat that? Well, I think, I think it's very difficult to combat it, and that's why, that's why the prime minister said that, uh, that we're going to face terrorism for quite some time. Um, I think that other issues that are coming at play here are issues of mental illness, um, a cultural breakdown, um, people with personal grievances and a lack of uh, personal responsibility and self-reliance um, are contributing to uh, lots of people who are feeling marginalized taking the laws in their own hand. But at the same time, I think it's also important to um, underscore that not everyone who is marginalized in society are uh, turning to extremism. So the line between economic marginalization and thuggish behavior and all of a sudden turning to extremism as a way of self-redemption seems to be very short and it seems to be increasingly what many people that may seem unstable um, are turning to. So, so it is becoming a, um, an issue of mental health, I think, whether that is in the United States where you have people um, using guns uh, to carry out um, uh, police shootings, as you have seen um, in the report earlier this evening, or whether it is um, extremists in Europe. Um, the common denominator is increasingly mental health issues um, mixed with extremism and self-marginalization. So it's a really tough issue to combat, but I think that um, what we really need is um, politics of uh, unity and not of division, which we're seeing really across the United States and Europe. And it is unfortunately not surprising that the French prime minister, as you reported, was booed because people are extremely frustrated. People are very, very extremely um, frustrated and, and sad and hurt as well. Uh, Mr. Sigurd Neubauer, thank you so much for your insight on this, on this conversation. We appreciate it. Pleasure. And there's plenty more.